Today I'm gonna show just a tiny yeah, video and update on this system over here. It is basically a shooty circuitry. This is the one where I uh, send the back EMF through a uh, ferret transformer. I was planning to uh, wind a uh, step down transformer because the one I was using before on the back EMF was uh, a one to one ratio and this one is a good one because but the ratio is uh, far too low whatever going in from the back EMF over here only gives me around 4 volts on the output and it's way too low for the test but the reason I'm making this video is to show you how efficient this is running in this matter if you've seen the previous video before this video it's about the uh, transistor based oscillator or Royer oscillator I was driving also these four lamps in parallel and uh, around 13 volts at 400 milliamps now I'm gonna run them again but this time it's gonna be at 40 milliamps instead of 400 and around yeah I think 15 volts something like that of course the light output is not going to be the same but it's still pretty damn good for only 40 milliamps at that input I'm gonna start it up as you can see the lights are on it is running at 15.7 and the milliamps is yep 40 milliamps now I'm gonna turn off the light over here as you can see there is a light and I'm gonna do the same what you did in my previous video is turn around and show you my other post motor as you can see you can still see it pretty good not as good but pretty good still so this is nothing special as you can see I even got over here uh, the points the connectors where I can put a transformer like this and do something else like fill in the caps you know these two caps and run a small DC motor with a fan on it something like that so it is not a bad setup very simple but pretty damn efficient and if I turn the pot over here to until the other way around the sound of the transformer does um, change a little bit the neon comes on input is now almost 100 milliamps but the output lamps are basically the same turn it back gonna turn it back down there's just a tiny little bit of difference in the output not much so there's no need to use 100 milliamps when 40 milliamps is more than enough and if you have like a car battery oh this will run for many hours on 40 milliamps once again as you can see pretty good that is light you can use okay ah by the way it is running through the wires to my wall adapter as always hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching